Okay, Bill, um, the markets uh, seem to be uh, strange to somebody who's not following them quite the way that you do. Uh, the, the, the economy seems to be in a recession, a fairly deep recession, yet the market is almost where it was uh, when we started this recession. Can you explain that, why the market seems to be so much higher than the economy is? Sure. So, you know, when people talk about the market, they talk about either the Dow or the S&P 500. And the S&P 500 is a market cap weighted index. And what's interesting or fortunate and unfortunate about the crisis is it affects different companies differently. And the more dominant large cap, you know, companies, the more, the stronger the balance sheet, the stronger the market position, those businesses are huge beneficiaries of, of the crisis. Um, and what the, what the market does not reflect are small businesses, private companies, more levered businesses that uh, don't have access to capital, don't have the same dominance as the public market. So a business like Amazon, which is a very big component of the, uh, the market, is, you know, is up 45%. That does a lot, obviously, for the averages. It's probably something approaching almost 10% of the S&P index today. And my guess is you know, six, seven percentage points of the index, businesses like Google, Facebook, uh, I think long-term beneficiaries and uh, ultimately the value of a business is the present value of the cash it generates over its life. And even if the cash flows are disrupted in the short term, if they're greater in the long term, the values will be higher. So I think the stock market is a snapshot of a portion of the economy. If it were, if you had an index of smaller businesses, uh, the market would be down 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. So the market also seems to gyrate more than normally. Uh, we have market going up a thousand points, down a thousand points. Is that because of computerized trading or why is the market gyrating so much? Uh, the, you know, again, the, the market is a discounting mechanism and uh, people's estimates of the future uh, have been very volatile. You know, how long is the crisis uh, going to go on for? Uh, when will we get back to our normal life? You know, these things affect the input of the model uh, that analysts are, are using to value uh, securities. I think the other issue is the market in the short term is very much a sentiment index. It's a way for people to express their emotions. And uh, there's been a lot of emotions in the short term. And when that happens, uh, there's a corresponding degree of volatility. Uh, but I, I don't think the market is dramatically wrong. You know, if you, when you look at the market on a company by company basis, we look at the companies we own, uh, you know, different businesses have been affected differently. Some, you know, many businesses have been, will be long-term beneficiaries. 